Good morning, guys. Yeah, so it is Wednesday, and I'm going to be chilling out today, studying at home, and then it's leg day. So it's always an exciting leg day. We usually kill it. So, yeah, waiting for my breakfast now from Pension. He's cooking it up in the kitchen, and meanwhile, just watching a bit of TV, and then after breakfast, I'll start studying. And then Jim at about 2 o'clock today, I think. Sean still has school, so after he's finished school, then we'll go to gym. So I'll see you there. Pinch brought some breakfast. Put some bacon and eggs. We ran out of eggs, so I could only have two eggs rather than four, so I chucked some bacon in to kind of compensate. So, yeah. I'll tuck in. In lights, he just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone. In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know him, but fuck him, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, Tots picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even him starstruck. Humble through opportunities given, despite the fact that many miss. Cause he makes a living from writing raps Put it together himself, got a picture connects Never asking for someone's help, but to get some respect He's only focused on what he wrote, his will is beyond reach And now it all unfolds, the skill of an artist This is 20% skill, 80% fear, be 100% clear Cause Ryu was ill, who would've thought he'd be the one that set the west in flames Then I heard him wreck it with the crystal method, name of the game Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church I like bleach, man, Ryu had the stupidest verse this dude is the truth Now everybody giving them guest spots And stocks through the roof I heard you fucking with that stock This is 10% luck 20% skill 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure 50% pain And 100% reason to remember Sick and he's spitting fire in might Got him out the dryer, he's hot Found him in Fort Minor with top But a fucking Nile is porcupine He's a prick, he's a cop The type women wanna be with And rappers hope he gets shot Eight years in the making Patiently waiting to blow Now the record with your notice Taking over the globe He's got a partner in crime This shit is equally dope You won't believe the kind of shit That comes out of this kid's throat top He's not your everyday on the block He knows how to work with wood he's got Making his way to the top He don't think it's a comment on his name People keep asking Asking him, was it giving that birth or does it stand for an act for him? No, he's living proof, proof of the rock in the booth. He'll get you wasn't quicker than a shot of vodka with juice, juice. Him and his crew are known around as one of the best. Dedicated to what they do and give 100%. Forget Mike, nobody really knows how or why he works so hard. It seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line. And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a design is written in his head every time before he even touches a key. Or speaks in a rhyme and those motherfuckers he runs with What's up guys? It's like 7 o'clock Only just got home from the gym now Because I had to wait for my mom to pick me up Then I had to wait to go grocery shopping So I figured I'd show you guys what we bought for grocery shopping So here we go Here we got some Hague fillet Which is, I think it's like 4 or 5 breasts It's quite nice Yeah, chicken and lots of it in bulk That's like one seven chicken breasts there we got green beans, sweet potatoes, cabbage, cabbage, lots of bananas because I use those in my shake. Lots and lots of spinach and spring onions because I use these spring onions sometimes in my eggs and spinach for a lot of things. Yeah, so it wasn't a big shop but it was a small one just to kind of restock and then when I do a big shop I'll video for you guys then. So what's up guys? I kind of want to talk to you a bit about, yeah, for the guys who are just getting into gym, just kind of want to talk to you guys for a bit. So, basically, I know when you go into gym, it's 
really scary. It's like a huge kind of big building and there's all these massive guys lifting heavy weights and of course you get kind of intimidated because when you first start most people you're not that big or you're trying to lose weight there's something and you feel slightly insecure about your body so my advice to you is you just gotta start you just gotta take that first step it's yeah it can be challenging but everyone has that first step and once you take that first step towards it it's you'll never look back you'll never regret it because think about it all those massive guys that you see in the gym and the perfect physiques like you know, Steve Cooks, all those great guys, they all had to start somewhere. They all started absolutely at the bottom, same as everyone else. We're all born together the same way. And then you got to build yourself up and work hard. So don't be scared to start, guys. You just got to go in there, get it done, start. And most of the time, a lot of the guys that are in the gym, they're more than happy to give you advice. Gym rats love nothing more than giving advice. They'll, they'll, they take pride in it. Everybody loves to talk about gym. If you love gym, you love to talk about it. So, I'll just, yeah, <laughs> you just gotta kinda go for it and don't look back, because everybody starts somewhere. The greats, Jay Cutler even started somewhere. You all start with those light weights, working, not really knowing what you're doing, kind of a bit shy, but you just kinda gotta put yourself out there. Because once you do, you'll never regret it. It'll be the best choice you ever made. All right, guys. Yeah, just finished editing today's video. So, here we go. Oh, edited nicely on my bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to bed so I can get up early to study. I don't think I'll get up at five because I won't get enough sleep, maybe six. So I'll see you guys then.